Hi everybody and welcome to my video. I can't wait to share with you how you can prep in a positive way for the economic collapse that just may hit real soon. I'm going to show you right now simple things you can do. Yes, some of them can cost money, some of them don't cost money, but it's always thinking outside the box. And that's where I'm at. I love prepping. <laughs> I've always been that kind of a girl. I just love doing that. And everything in my channel for five years has literally been prepping, except for my Thrifty Thursday. But most of the time, I'm always prepping something. And so I wanted to share with that with you this morning. So let's go around my property and let me show you in tangible ways that you can prep. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. Think outside the box, my friends. You can find a lot of the things that I'm doing for free. All you have to do is look on Craigslist. All you have to do is look on Free Cycle. All you gotta do is put an ad in your newspaper because a lot of the things that I do and got were free. Or I saved up my money, my own very own money, to get all these things. Now these things have all been got free from me or I purchased them way before I even had a YouTube channel and let me show you what I got. All right, so four years ago, I bought this greenhouse for $58. They are about 68 to 78, but you get so much for your money. This is one way you can prep. And what is that? Having a greenhouse. As you all know, I grow food all winter long, even in the snow. There is spinach growing here ever since last September. I got this for $15 just back in August, $15 on Amazon because it was on clearance. Old window frames I got for free along the road and you can use them as cold frames. Take a look on your very own property and see what you can use. This is a type of pine tree. This isn't a pine tree. This is a fir tree, but you can use the needles as tea, which is, gives you high vitamin C. A simple old trash can can be turned into a burn barrel in case you don't have trash service. Recycle, reuse everything that you own. The most important thing is a rain barrel. You've got to have a rain barrel because rain barrels will give you water in case the electricity goes out. You can use it for just about anything. I've done videos bathing with the rain barrel, washing dishes with the rain barrel. I've done videos on all of this. This was $92. I bought it four years ago. It was very much worth the money. My chicken house was free. Somebody didn't want it. And so we got that for free. The wire is free. We got that on free cycle. And the chickens cost $3 a piece at Tractor Supply. Or you can get them through the mail. Some of these were from Tractor Supply three years ago and some of them we got in the mail but we only paid $3 each for them. I've shared you in many videos how you can feed your chickens for little to next to nothing. For less than $100, we produced this large grapevine. The grapes we got at Tractor Supply 10 years ago, and we paid only $4 a plant for them. And for less than $100, we have this that's been many years. Don't want to spend money for a greenhouse? Make one for free. And this is full of strawberry plants inside here. Buy a homestead. Very reasonable price. Now, land is very expensive right now, but wait until the recession hits. Your land will be so much cheaper. Interest rates are really going up right now. So wait a year or two and you'll be surprised at what you'll be able to buy that people can't afford anymore. Invest in, invest in perennials, invest in food that will come up year after year. Like my garlic will come up every year. I have all kinds of herbs that will come up every year and you don't have to rebuy them. Rhubarb and all of that. There's so much strawberries are amazing. You don't have to plant them every year. Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I thought we would have a little talk today about some current events and all the things that are happening in the world. As you know, I love prepping and prepping is something that I have been doing now for 34 years. 
But I have a different outlook on the word prepping, and I want to share that with all of you. I decided to do a lot of research on prepping channels. So I subscribed to a bunch of prepping channels to see what they're like, to get a little bit of an insight on their outlook on prepping. And 95 to 99% of them all have a negative aspect on prepping. Prep now because tomorrow it may be too late. Or they will say, times are really bad right now. Is it too late? And they will say, all kinds of things. Your money's going to be gone. The electricity's going to be gone. The food shelves are always empty, even though as of now, they're not that empty, at least in some places. You see all these big titles and all these channels are 300 and 400,000 subscribers and they get in an hour, they get 100,000 views on the collapse of the economy. While I do believe the economy is collapsing slowly, it's a domino effect or a house of cards. When you build your house with cards and all of a sudden the bottom ones start to shift, then the cards come tumbling down. I decided I wanted to do something different. I'm at a stage in my YouTube channel where I can just be me and enjoy the things that I like to do. I don't have to worry about if I am making that certain amount of subscribers or views. I want to be somebody different because I want to say a positive outlook on prepping. Now maybe you think that's an oxymoron, positive and prepping, like how can that be? I want to share with you in tangible ways how you can prepare for tomorrow with not that all that scary doom and gloom. I'll be honest with you, when I watched it yesterday evening, I couldn't even sleep that night. All of the things they were saying and it was very scary and I was like, ooh, this isn't what I want. I understand most of the bigger channels are men. So the men are the hosts of the channel and the men are the one that are talking. And yes, I know men can be a little bit on the negative side sometimes of the way they're thinking. But I want to be known for Homestead Tessie, mobile home prepper, positive prepping and prepping for the girls and prepping for the guys who want to prep in a way that's not quite so scary. So what, how can I do that? Well, for me, I want to share with you my prepping, why I started prepping. And for me, it was a necessity. It wasn't a catch term for the year 2022, or it wasn't because of all the things that were happening in the world per se. For me, it was because of what was happening in my own four walls. Yep, my own four walls. Back in 2007, you know my story, and I'll share it right here if you missed it. But I'm sharing with you why I started prepping. I started prepping because financially, I realized that in order for us to get out of debt, we had to live a different lifestyle. And that started me on the path of saving money. And then after we got out of debt for all these years, I realized now I don't want that happening to me ever again. You know, not having things that I need and wondering each day what I'm going to do. Then I decided to get into prepping. And that was because of my best friend, Cindy, who lives about 10 miles from me. And I did a video showing you her house and showing you her wind turbines. She changed my life in tangible ways because I got to see firsthand what prepping really is about. There are different kinds of preppers. I've done videos on that. There are preppers who prep and they go to the grocery store and they stock up things. And then there's homestead preppers. I'm a little bit of everything. Hubby said, you know what, Tessie? You're a little bit of everything. I am the kind of prepper that I like to go and buy things to prep. I'm also the kind of prepper that's homestead. I like homestead prepping. I'm also the kind of prepper that is growing your own food. I'm kind of a little bit of everything, but one thing I'm not is negative. I just can't be a negative person. And so here I am. Homestead Tessie, mobile home prepper. And that's who I am. There's not many people who live in a mobile home that have a channel that are mobile home preppers. Of course, there are people that prep that live in a mobile home. But I want to set myself aside a little bit. I want to kind of run a different way of the pack of preppers. I want to run in the direction of positive prepping and encouraging prepping. And that means not making you have to go to the grocery store and run here and there and buy expensive items. 
but just wait. In order for me to do that, there will be once in a while a product review at the end of my videos because that is how I'm going to be paid and compensated for the videos that I make. And so it's going to be fun to do it that way. And I can share with you, like back here, my solar. I know it's not for everyone, but it's something that I can add to the end of my videos in case people are interested. So the first thing we did was when we got out of debt is we spend $600 and got a generator. Now that is a gas generator. We saved our money up for it and we bought it and we have that. And then through the years, we saved up money. Last year, as you all know, and I'll share right here above me, for those that see it on a device, an iCard of we really worked on the outside of our home. We put a new roof on our house. We repainted. We need to pressure wash this house uh, probably in a week or two. We need to really pressure wash it because we had those spotted lantern flies that made a real mess of it. But we did a lot of upkeep. We worked on our plumbing. We got most of that fixed, not quite all of it because you know what happened to me you know, in the summer. We got our trees trimmed because we had to, because they were all across the top of the mobile home. So we were prepping in that aspect. So we were prepping to make sure our mobile home has all of the things that it needs to have in case the grid goes down or in case of economic collapse. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you've been seeing by now, there's going to be a lot more videos on prepping and how to do it in a happy way and how to do it in a positive way. You know, we can't help what's happening in the economy. We can't help what's happening in the world, but we can make a choice on how we respond to all that. And no, the zombies are not coming. And I know, don't believe in the apocalypse happening. But you know what? If you can do one thing today that would help you de-stress for when things do happen, you know what? You will feel so much better. I'd rather be proactive in my prepping and in my life than to wait and think, oh no, what's gonna happen? Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. How in the world could I forget to mention canning? Oh my word, canning is one of the best ways you can prep. And you still can find free canning supplies. All you gotta do is think outside the box. All you have to do is go to places like your newspaper or go to places online and request and ask if anybody has any canning supplies. Because every single day there are people that are no longer canning and they have lots and lots of supplies that most people are willing to give to you. Canning, my friends, is a big one.